Hi friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Stephanie and today we're looking at Painted Polish's newest collection called The Gilded Garden Party. So this collection features five floral inspired thermal polishes in a variety of really bright and fun colors, all with gold flakies. So let's just get into the swatches. First up, we have Gilded Pansy, which is a royal purple base when cold, like here in the bottle, that transitions to a bright pink when warm. So we're starting off strong with this shade because it was love at first swipe. This one had a really nice full coverage formula that looked nearly opaque on the first coat alone, probably because of its deeper color. But I also just love the colors of this thermal. The purple is so deep but still really vibrant so I would definitely consider this a purple suitable for spring as opposed to a deep fall purple if that makes sense and obviously you know I'm gonna be such a fan of that bright kind of hot pink shade that it turns to and the gold flakies just stand out so nicely in this one. So this was fully opaque for me in just two coats and it is easily my favorite from the collection. Next up we have Gilded Gerbera, which is a thermal that transitions from turquoise when cold, like you see in the bottle, to colorless when warm. So I actually really love this base or cold color of the thermal. It's just so bright and fun for this time of year. And honestly, it feels like the perfect color that transitions into summer with those gold flakes. And while the formula was still super smooth and just glides on, as you can see, this one was a lot more sheer and almost leaning towards a jelly finish, but I think that's likely because of the colorless transition state, which still, as you saw, had a hint of blue to it and isn't completely clear like I was expecting it to be. So it's definitely an interesting shade. I don't think I've seen a colorless transition shade for a thermal before. So generally this collection is really interesting to me, but I'm definitely partial to the cold state of this one. The next polish we have is Gilded Greenhouse, which is a grass green when cold like in the bottle that transitions to a colorless base when warm. So I pretty much had the same experience as the last shade formula wise, where it was a little bit more jelly-ish on the first coat because of that colorless warm state which by the way i might sound like i'm annoyed at the quote-unquote colorless aspect of this because it's not completely clear or see-through like i was kind of expecting but i'm really not bothered by that at all because i really think i prefer having a slight color tint to the warm state like you see here because otherwise it would just look clear with gold flakies so i don't know i kind of like that it's not completely colorless at least going off of my body temperature next up we have gilded poppy which is described as a thermal base that transitions from bright orange when cold to colorless when warm so this had the same great easy to apply formula but honestly i found this one was a little bit more opaque kind of similar to gilded pansy so it wasn't as sheer or jelly-like, though I definitely would recommend still doing at least a second coat because again, the warm state turns into an almost peachy kind of orange. So you probably will have visible nail line just on one coat, but I definitely did like this one a lot too because I feel like this is another shade that can work so well in the summer. Once you see it start to warm up a little bit more and it turns into that slight peachy kind of look it just reminded me of a sunset especially with those gold flakes so I thought this one was so fun and lastly we have gilded rose which is a deep rose pink when cold that you guessed it also transitions to colorless when warm so I really do think these colorless transitions are really cool, but I am especially a fan of this one because it's pink <laughs> and the warm state of this is just that really pretty soft rosy kind of pink that I think looks so delicate, especially with the gold flakies, but I love how bright and bold this is in its cold state as well. 
I only did two coats on all of my swatches because I generally am okay with seeing a little bit of nail line even though it isn't super apparent because of how cold my tips are so it's just this really nice gradient effect but I think I probably would recommend doing a third coat just to build up the color a little bit more so it's not as clear or see-through. Now moving on to comparisons, I wanted to show Gilded Pansy next to Matt About Malbec from the somewhat recent wine collection. So none of the comparison shades that I have are thermals, but they are still very similar in terms of the gold flaky in a crully formula. But as you can see, even the shades of purple in this one are very different where Matt About Malbec is a lot darker. Next for Gilded Gerbera, I wanted to show how it compares to Gilded Cornflowers, which was the polish pickup exclusive from last weekend, so it's sadly not available anymore. Whether you grabbed it or not, they definitely are very different in terms of their formula and of course their color, but Cornflowers is much more creamy and opaque and Gerbera has a ton more flakies. For Gilded Greenhouse, I had to show it next to Gilded Clover that came out just a couple of months ago. These look nearly identical here in the bottle side by side with that grassy green base and those metallic gold flakies, but on the nail there is a slight color difference where Clover I would say is a tad bit darker. Aside from the fact that it isn't a thermal of course, but let me know which of these two greens that you would prefer. And lastly, for Gilded Rose, I wanted to show this next to Butter Me Up, which was also released a couple months ago. It's this really bright, medium, rosy pink crelly with gold metallic flakes. And I'm also going to be showing this next to Cirque's La Vie en Rose, because this color transition from Gilded Rose just immediately reminded me of this Cirque shade. But as you can see, the colors are slightly off, and... Also, the main difference between Gilded Rose and La Vie en Rose is the glitter component in them, where Gilded Rose has those gold flakies, similar to Butter Me Up, but the Cirque shade has the delicate hollow sparkle. So no dupes. So that wraps up my swatches and comparisons for Painted Polish's Gilded Garden Party. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this release because I feel like thermals can be pretty divisive. There's definitely been some people in my comments before talking about how they will never pick up another thermal because they're just not worth it. I mean, they do tend to have a shorter shelf life where maybe after a year or so, depending on where you live, the thermal quality of the polish will kind of die out and it won't really transition anymore or there's not as strong of a transition like maybe the color like fades a little bit or something i honestly don't have that many thermals in my collection to begin with and the ones that i do have are maybe coming up on a year so i don't have the best experience with them but i think these are cute i mean i really love the colors i think they're so bright and fun and part of me does wish that they weren't thermals just so you can get the colors like as is especially gilded gerbera with that like really bright turquoise blue it's just so so pretty and i think it would work so well for the summertime as well and so that one's the only one i'm a little bummed out by just because the warm state of the color i don't love that much and now that the weather is getting warmer that's what I would see more often than not on my nails but at least with Gilded Pansy and Gilded Rose I absolutely love those two so so much so those are my favorites from this collection but I'd love to know what your thoughts are leave them down below in the comments so we can chat about it but thank you so much for hanging out with me today I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one bye